Hello everyone and welcome to In the Library. Before we start today, I'd like to thank and welcome our new subscriber we gained this week. You have brought us up to 54 subs. Thank you for joining us. And if you would like to be our next sub, please go ahead and click the bell now. Okay, today a quick pro book buying tip. Library book sales and thrift stores. Let's go through what I recently purchased. these two books from my local library book sale. Now, some libraries have specific days or times for their book sales, but mine has a room that's always open. I got these books for a total of $1.50 each. First, Nathaniel Hawthorne's House of Seven Gables, um, which as you can see, I've already started reading and I think this is the third time that I've read this book, um, although this is my first time owning it. Um, for all I know, this is the actual copy that I've taken from the library before. Um, but let me know in the pinned comment, have you read this book or have you been to the real House of the Seven Gables? Let me know in the pinned comment below. The other book from the library is Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Now, I've never read any Austen before, um, but I couldn't pass up a 50 cent book, right? Um, especially one that's still in pretty decent shape. Now, your other option is thrift shops. Now, in my area, there's a giant thrift shop called Savers. Uh, link is in the description, not sponsored, where I got this book for $4. And it's brand new. I don't think it's even barely even been opened yet. Um, normally, it would cost $20, according to the price on the back. So getting it for $4 is a really good deal. Um, plus, it's a David McCullough. I think I've mentioned in other videos that McCullough is one of my favorite biographers, historians, um, and it's about, it's called The Great Journey, Americans in Paris, and it's about a group of Americans that went to Paris, 1830 to 1900, and how they learned there and they studied there, and how what they did in Paris actually had a great impact on U.S. and American history. So, looking forward to reading that. And there you have it. Uh, if you would like to increase your book collection inexpensively, consider your local library and thrift shops. By the way, don't just stick to your locals. If you have a trip somewhere and you have the opportunity to check out their library, don't be afraid to take a look at what they have. I've gotten books from libraries in Colorado and Alaska and all kinds of different places. So that's all for today. Um, for more book hauls, click this playlist right here. To subscribe, click my face here. Please like, subscribe, comment, and as always, please keep on reading. We'll see you next time.